It's not climate change, it's climate breakdown. We are standing by no longer. It's 177 hours into the hunger strike. Okay, we're walking up to it now. Here we go. Extinction Rebellion! We are Extinction Rebellion! We're in the middle of a climate crisis, and it's time to act. People are organizing! And in a time of crisis, we don't need hope. We need courage. I've stopped uni and I'm working to build a rebellion though, and as doing so, I need access to the internet, I need access to the research around what creates an effective civil resistance movement. Dr. King, Ella Baker. And so I come to the library. I'm putting more work into this than I've ever done into anything in my life beforehand. The hardest thing, though, is reconciling that kind of workload with your own personal life, my life with my girlfriend, Bonnie, and how little time I can spend with her because of it. The point of us targeting the Tories, Labour and the SNP was to highlight the fact that they are not taking a strong enough stance against the Heathrow expansion. We took our message to their headquarters to highlight the injustices that are happening in those buildings. As I was being arrested and being dragged into that van with a guy at ITV filming me with this big old camera, I was thinking, bam, that was a great opportunity to get my message across. They know what they're doing and they keep going for it. The media are a key instrument in how people are educated about issues. Whether it's you know being arrested for putting chalk on a building or whether it's the commitment to go to prison. I'm prepared to create that sacrifice. I was arrested on Monday, along with seven others, for putting chalk spray outside this building. And I'm back again today to start an indefinite hunger strike against the Heathrow expansion. We're 58 hours into the hunger strike. I've been really feeling the hunger today. For us, the hunger strike tactic was something important because it reflects so much of our own history, you know, the history of the suffragettes and how they worked to create change. It's 177 hours into the hunger strike. I've lost five kilos these last week. Uh, my stomach this morning felt like it was upside down, I felt ill, I felt tired all day. It's hard to know what you're getting yourself in for when you do a hunger strike. The lack of energy that you feel, that sense of just yearning for food, like it's something so special. A few days before the vote, we thought we needed something that could make a bang, something that could go viral on social media because you made you think, did that guy just commit suicide in protest against climate change? The energy was building outside on Parliament Square as we were waiting for the vote. And we had to take that energy and put it into action, so we stormed Parliament. Tonight in Westminster, protests in the lobby of Parliament to go alongside the debate within. Even after years of discussion, Heathrow stirs deep emotions. We felt, you know, passionate about being in Parliament because it is that centre of power. 
And that's what we wanted to speak to, the centre of power. MPs have tonight voted overwhelmingly to build a third runway at Heathrow Airport. I was pretty crushed after I saw the vote results. So painful to me, that loss and that rage that they wouldn't do anything about it. The hardest thing for me about what I do is the toll that it takes on my relationship with Bonnie. It's so difficult. And it's an internal struggle that I think about every day. 